First of all, for this setup, you need both the nano pad and a second controller. You can use any controller you like. I'm using the Korg Z1 for this example, but any controller that you can connect to the computer is fair game for this setup. All right, um, and it's very easy to use. It uses two scenes on your nano pad. Scene one is used for playing the chords. It's also where the chords are stored. And uh, scene two is where you assign chords to the pads. All right, so I'll show you how it works real quick. You just press the scene button. Actually, before I do that, let me just show you that I don't have any chords assigned to these pads right now. All right, but anyway, to assign a chord, you just press the, the scene button and a display will come up and ask you to select a pad. So you just select one of the bottom six pads. I'll select pad seven and then uh, you just play the notes for your chords. Uh, you can either play the notes individually or all at the same time. And then once you're done, you just hit the pad again. All right, so it's, uh, it's very fast. All right, and I'll just show you that, again, you can play the notes individually if you want. I want to show you something else you could do with this setup, um, but this kind of depends on your software. I know this will work with live. I don't know about other software, um, but if it lets you assign notes to parameters in your software, then this will work. But anyway, what I've done is I've assigned uh, the pads on the pad control to mute switches in live, so I can mute them individually, all right? And these pads are sending notes to mute those switches, all right? So now, since these are sending notes, I can assign those notes to these pads just by going into learn mode and then just picking the pads I want to assign. So let's do uh, tracks one, two, and four. And there you go, now I have them assigned to the group. All right, and uh, it's very simple, but very flexible. You can use that for mute groups, effects groups, you know, whatever type of grouping you need.